Why do Kenya Kwanza want to create the office of the opposition leader? This is what I want to discuss in this analysis and from there we are going to see what it means politically. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel. If you are here for the first time, kindly consider subscribing and turn on the notification bell. If you are watching me from a different platform, I'm kindly requesting you that you take a minute, go YouTube, search DMTV Kenya. Also subscribe, that's the only way you can support my work. Let's go straight to the discussion of this topic. President Ruto's proposal to create the office of the opposition leader uh, this could be seen as a strategic move uh, with both uh, political and practical implications. And these are the reasons behind his proposal. Reason number one, it is political stability. Introducing the office of the opposition leader can potentially contribute to a political stability by providing formal structure for the opposition party to voice their concerns and disagreements. This move can also help foster a healthy political environment where opposing views are given a platform. This will also uh, reduce tensions and the likelihood of political unrest. Reason number two it is what we call national unity. By President Ruto creating the office of the opposition leader, he may be aiming to promote national unity and inclusivity. Overling a, a designated position for the opposition leader, this can be viewed as a gesture to recognize their importance in the political landscape and encourage their active participation in the democratic process. I can also say that this as well can help a bridge the divide between the ruling party and opposition party. At the same time, fostering collaboration and national cohesion. Reason number three is what we call check and balance. Another perspective for this proposal is is that it could enhance the system of checks and balances by formalizing the opposition's role through an official position. So President Ruto is potentially strengthening democratic institutions and this can ensure that the ruling party is held accountable by structured uh, opposition. Preventing concentration of power 